Good morning guys, welcome to the Max. It is pretty early this morning. Uh, we have a big day planned, pretty much all farm. We worked really hard yesterday, didn't do a lot of filming uh, other than just getting stuff done because we knew today we were gonna be kind of off farm. So we're gonna show you what we're gonna do today. We're really dealing with new friendships we've made through YouTube. So guys, thank you again for always talking to build this community that we have here on YouTube. It is so much fun. So these guys that are coming over today really deals with Aiden Shooting Sports. Uh, these two young men are phenomenal guys. We've got to know them. We went to their farm. And they, so they're farmers, they're preppers, but more than that, they love shooting sports. And I think they're right under 18, and these guys are on the on like the, the major league of shooting. So we're gonna learn about them. We're gonna take uh, the camera out to the range today. You're gonna see us do some shooting. Hopefully uh, YouTube won't take this down because it is a very, very vital part of our lives to teach life skills to our children. And hunting and shooting are one of those things. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Guys, if you're new to the Max, again, I cannot say enough, please subscribe to us uh, as we wanna try to grow our channel. Give us a thumbs up. We hope you enjoy our farm, but more than that, our family, as we vlog and take you through our life day to day. So uh, let's get started. Excuses were two for a penny. But they've all gone out the window. Got something that I want to show y'all. So we got some mail. I don't know if this lighting is the most perfect, but we got some mail. Miss Lena, thank you so much. I want to show y'all this. So these are some grow bags. We have two of these and two of these. Got them out of the box. We have not opened them up yet because this is going to be a pretty good way to store them. But judging by the look of the material, super excited about these grow bags. We are going to be trying some different stuff in the um, next spring and summer using these grow bags. We've talked about it a little bit, but we've never used the actual grow bags. So Miss Lena sent these to us. Here is two of this kind and two of this kind. So we're excited to put some stuff in here and show y'all how that goes. Again, we appreciate y'all. We thank y'all for everything one of the things that we never take for granted is you guys our viewers y'all mean a lot to us so thank you again miss lena we cannot wait to get some dirt in those probably this fall we may surprise y'all with some stuff in it this fall so as miss back finishes up inside we're going to be outside doing a little work it is a miserable miserable hot day in South Mississippi. We've had a lot of humid and hot days in the 90s and, uh, and and we've had some rain but we haven't had rain the last few days so we're hoping to get a little rain because oh, actually I'm gonna be planting our uh, right next to our pumpkins I'm gonna be planting some field corn to try out again it's just trial and error guys because again I'm trying to feed animals here. The thing I've realized is I'm a little disheartened with these five, these four front fields, this five acres. And our grass as a whole, because of the heat, we've got grass growing, but the quality of the grass is not that good. When it comes to this time of year, I always get a little disheartened because I was, I was depending on these fields to be ready and doing well. Well, you know, you see we bush hogged them down to nothing because they had a lot of weeds growing in them. So we're trying to suppress the weeds, let the bahia get a head start again. And actually I'm gonna reseed everything. If you remember all the videos and as rye season was coming out, I was so pleased with it. I was trying to be patient, doing well. We, we, you know, we, we hate a few areas and we had the rye there as a road to control. Well, all the rains we got when we lost the animals in early March caused just major erosion issues. And we lost a lot of our good soil and a lot of that good rye that was holding it started dying. We've got a base but to be honest with you, most of it's just trash. <sighs> so I, I've been disheartened. It's always like, do I go in there and conventionally uh, fertilize? Do I go in there and just keep overseeding? I've, I've spent countless amount of money on overseeding. And so I've got more seed again. We've got it in the back back here. Got more B Bermuda, more Bahia. And you can see some of this grass, this is great grass, but it's also getting suppressed by all the weeds too because we're, we're not sprayers, even though I've had people tell me I should be, we're not sprayers. And we had a lot of this bush hogged and hopefully the grass can get ahead of it. So we're gonna overseed it once more. We're supposed to have a chance to rain tomorrow. 
but I'm trying to develop patience, but it's very, very hard because I need these fields booming because I need cows when these other areas are grazed down. Right now, the grass is growing back, but it's not growing quality grass. It's growing grass, but a lot of the proteins and nutrients, because it's been grazed, it's just not there. So I wanted these fields kind of sitting ready and they're just not. So it's one of those things, we're gonna go in here and put some uh, put some of this seed in here. We also bought some clay peas and some brown top millet. Brown top millet is just a quick grow. It reminds you of almost like a rye, but for a different season. It'll grow real quick, hopefully it'll establish. Help with erosion control, but also the sheep and cows love it and they'll eat it. But more than that, it just allows it to hopefully to hold this ground to get that that uh, seed bank in the ground to where they can start getting some water on them. It can it can suppress some of these weeds, but hopefully get some grass going up. So we've got a pile of uh, seed that cost a lot of money in the back here. Just see what we can do. Misty's working inside. We're gonna try to get this seeded. Aiden's doing chores, and uh, hopefully just be patient. And patience will work out in our favor. Uh, I just don't know. Let's get at it. like this or like this any little wiggle is going to wiggle your muzzle it's going to change different positions in your body so lay your feet flat wide apart don't put tension on that tendon it'll cause fatigue and you'll shake more kind of duck foot it that way you don't have tension on your quad <laughs> grip on your pistol high in the beaver tail or as high as you can let the gun recoil and then return the gun okay does that make sense to everybody just pull the trigger smooth you don't have to like yank the trigger or anything just pull the gun or pull the trigger smooth don't push the gun around okay blast is on and he's gonna draw everybody has to have eyes and ears okay, shoot all five here okay. that steel fry Oh. Okay, so you're gonna put that dot over the seat. So what I want you to do is I want you to shoot that one, then I want you to shoot the back one. Good, Zach. Alright. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So we had a great time today shooting. I think I shot better than Aiden. Did I shoot better than you? No. I really did shoot better than these guys. So we're going to tell you who these guys are because they're the ones that really brought us to do all the things we did today for the kids. It was really for the kids, but I think the adults had more fun. So tell us who you are, and tell us where we can find you on social media, or tell us. Just a little bit about you. So I am Bryce Dupuis. My brother is Blaine Dupuis. We shoot competitive shooting, USPSA, primarily handgun shooting. We like to come out and teach kids how to shoot as much as we possibly can. The most important thing we would like to do is spread God's word as much as we can. Yeah, we just, it's all about having fun and giving God the glory. Um, my girlfriend's here from Washington, the state, um, to have some fun shooting with us. She flew in just to shoot with us, right? <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> mm -hmm. out. Enjoying the Mississippi humidity? Yes, sir. All right, so tell us where we can find you. If people wanted to have ideas to have educational seminars like we had for these boys over here, tell us how they can find you. We'll share your email, your links, but tell us, do you do social media? Tell us a little Instagram, about that. Uh, mine will be Dupuis0Blaine on okay. Instagram. And we'll tag that in a little below. Uh, and mine is Bryce underscore Dupuis. Uh, that's on Instagram. Both on Instagram? Yes. And Rachel shooter underscore Rachel. All right, I'm gonna link those below. Check them out if you're interested in them doing a class for your kids, grandkids, or for yourself. They know their stuff. They taught us how to use two eyes to shoot, and I missed the target completely. 
I really do. Thank y'all guys for coming. We had a blast today. You're very welcome. Thank y'all for having us. So there you have it. Great time. Please check these guys out on Instagram. Jennings has fell in love with these people. Did you have a fun time today? Yeah. Did you? You shot good too, didn't you? They're going. They're going. Aiden's going to go open it for us, okay? Do check these guys out. They are phenomenal shooters. They're young and do phenomenal work with your kids. If you're interested in checking them their videos out, checking them out on their professional shooting, or you would like to do a class with them, they're phenomenal and they're worth their weight in gold. Hunting, uh, hunting and shooting are a skill, a life skill that we all need. And these guys can tell you how to do it right. Check them out. Wait, wait.